All right, hello everybody, Raw Lucario here, and welcome to another brand new series. Um, so, my Arkham Asylum series, in case you are not aware, is over. I got hit <laughs> um, in the second episode. Um, it was an unfair hit, but I I'm, I'm going to count it as the end, as I promised I would. So I thought I would do a similar challenge here, but I'm going to redo it just a bit. So instead of if I get hit, the series ends, because I feel like that puts a lot of stress on me, um, I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to do if I die, the series ends. But there's going to be a little bit of a twist with it, because um, so that I feel like it's on a similar level of difficulty, I'm going to put it on hard mode. So if I die in hard mode, the series ends. I feel like that's fair, and I feel like, um, at least this way, I don't have to worry about it too much. Although, I have to worry with these Catwoman sections. I could skip this, but I won't, since it is technically a series. Let's begin! Don't touch it, man. He'll kill you. Oh yes, he will indeed. Kill me. How long till the boss gets here? He'll be here. Yeah, that, that answers said, the question. Alright. Now I just have to worry about this, uh, these Catwoman sections. I feel like with Batman I'll be fine. Batman I think I'll have absolutely no problem, but Catwoman is another story entirely, so... Alright, I need to be very careful here. Alright, luckily we still have the counter icons on hard mode. Alright, oh, and we also have the special combo takedown from the beginning as well. That's useful. Oh, come on. I thought he was winding up for a hit. Oh, no. Alright, can't... Don't want to lose my combo. This is a bad... area. I'm not playing as aggressive as I normally would, but I need to be careful not to take too many hits here. Um, Batman I'll definitely be playing a bit more aggressive than this, because I, I know I'm better with him. Okay. Well, we're not going to die in the pregame section, so that's good. Crack safe. Also, this is, um, a Return to Arkham version. Uh, I don't know if that really matters to any of you, but, uh, if, uh, if you're wondering why the graphics look better... Or if, you know, you're under the opinion they look worse. Uh, <laughs> that's the reason why. Get your filthy paws off that now. Um, okay. Ah! Now the true start of the game. Not the DLC start of the game that for some reason thinks, Oh, you can just play as Catwoman at the start. Um, I am really happy, though, to be playing through this game. And, um, I know I still have Spider-Man to do. I even mentioned it in my Arkham Asylum video, but... I just, um... I just wanted to take a little bit of a break, and the good thing about this series is that it can end at any point. So, even though I'll probably get to the end of the game with not dying, it's very probable that I'll die. Um, so I could, it could end within like 10 minutes. I mean, who knows? It could go to the end of the game, it could last 10 minutes, so it's not technically an indicative series. That end in general, this game is just a lot shorter than Spider-Man. Spider-Man is at least, I would say, 30 hours to get through the story. Um, I am thinking of doing a couple hour-long videos, though, for, um, that game. Just so I can kind of get through the story quicker, because it, it's just taking so long. And, um, I've got a lot of stuff on the back burner. Um... By the end of tonight, I will be a hero. Just like you. Batman. Today, I'm starting the campaign to close Arkham City. Doesn't really make much sense how they were legally able to arrest Bruce Wayne, but... You know... 
We'll go through. I've see the problem is I played through this game so many times that the plot holes are kind of more visible to me. Not that there's a lot of them. It is a well-written story, but there's just a couple of things that just don't really make sense. Oh, what in the world? I feel I should thank you. How did I forget that was going to happen? Is so much easier than Batman. Mm. Now that we have You're a bit you, flat down there. Not going to lie. Maybe it's the coat, though. To begin. It will be my legacy. A monument to your failure. Why is it that he has hair on every bit of his face? Everyone. Except for the mustache area, there's just not even stubble there. It just like I would have expected at least stubble, but I guess not. All right. Oh. You are mine, the new inmates. Let me introduce myself. All right. So now we rock. Uh, there we go. I could have done this in New Game Plus, but I didn't really think it would be fair for me to have all my upgrades, and especially my health upgrades at the start. See, unlike the last series, though, health upgrades are probably going to be the most valuable upgrade I could have. <laughs> because I, I, it doesn't matter if I get hit, it only matters if I die. Oh, do I have to make myself stand up? Oh. There are a couple cool easter eggs in this area, in the starting area. You've got Black Mask over here, fighting. Uh, this guy. Uh, then we go here. Yeah, shut up. Alright, now we just have to wait for these guys to move. No, I won't mention it here in case you don't know, but this dude is an Easter egg. He's someone special. He will be back later. Alright, yeah, I'm here! Chill out! Oh my goodness, dude. One thing that doesn't make sense is the amount of times Bruce Wayne gets hit in the head here and doesn't, like, suffer severe brain damage is honestly insane. Alright, yes. My big problem with Jack Ryder is that they included him, but they never, ever turned him into the Creeper. Maybe he'll be the Creeper in Suicide Squad. I mean, that was just such a missed opportunity to not, to like, well, like, if you were not going to have him as the Creeper, why not include him at all? Also, uh, there's someone up there. A little bit low texture, but there is someone up there. Alright, now we just have to counter these guys. Alright. Alright, yeah, you... You can do that. On your feet, Ryder. I said get up. Um, okay, there's one more scenario I'm a little bit afraid of, and that's the one that's about to come right now, because this next combat scenario is a bit... Um... Difficult, because you're restricted. Ooh, it's Penguin. Uh, biggest change in this entire version, I should mention, the Return to Arkham version, is that for some reason the Penguin is striped pants instead of, I think they were black pants originally. Why they thought to make that change, I don't know, but... You know. Cobblepot. Oh, you remember me. I'm touched. Your family destroyed my way. This, well... Let's just call this good old-fashioned revenge. Man. I love that Bruce can't even get him revenge for just basically naining his entire family heritage. He just breaks his hand. Alright, I think I just have to do a lot of counters and then... Yeah, okay. Alright, now I should be a lot better in my movement, but it's basically like Catwoman now because I don't have any gadgets. Or really anything. But yeah, the combat just moves so much better than in Arkham Asylum. Like, you can just flow so much easier. Arkham Asylum's combat, like, it was good for the time, but in comparison to City, it just sucks. Oh. 
Now, you can actually let the penguin ramble on if you want as you go up, but, uh, I prefer to just do that. Break his hand and then just absolutely pimp slap him. Now we just go- okay, go up, thank you. Um, there- oh, the, uh, right, okay. Uh, I should mention there are several, uh, bat suits in the game. Um, but I'm not gonna do like what I did in my Arkham Knight series from long ago and do a different ep uh, one every time. I'm just gonna use the ones I like, and, um... I mean, maybe I'll show off the character trophies of the other ones just to, um... So you can get an idea of what they look like, but I think, um... I have my favorites, um... Alright, let me just head under here. Um, not quite. Not yeah, there it is. The Bat Suppository. Alright, equip suit now. Alright. In my opinion, this is the best-looking Batman has looked in the entire Arkham franchise. I actually prefer this design to even his Arkham Knight design. I just like it a lot better. And his face looks a lot less goofy than it did in Arkham uh, Asylum. Remember he had, like, the really, like, stretched mouth? Oh, well, uh... I was gonna try and show that off, but I guess not. Alright, let's... Expert level hacking. All units, this is Air Tiger 4. We have confirmation that prisoner 4011 is, one is in the courthouse. Court Indeed, I yes. Catwoman is in the courthouse. You're not repeating yourself, but... Oh my goodness, that is a lot. That is a lot of people. Stand down. The two-face of his fun. Understood. That doesn't sound good. The only problem I really have with this game, if I if I had to even pick a problem, is the fact that this was before the era of um, in-game cutscenes, because the graphics didn't really look as good as what you could do with a pre-rendered cutscene. So if you're using a different bat suit in certain cutscenes, Batman will just be using his normal bat suit, and it kind of breaks immersion. But really, other than that, I don't think I have any major problems with this game. And even then, that was excusable because of the time this came out. Though, that would have been a nice thing for them to do for the remastered port, I will have to say. They probably could have done it. Um, I could go down there and fight those guys, but why would I do that when I can just go here and then land here and then go in the door? In my opinion, uh, one of the best Two-Face designs we've seen in modern media. I mean, I love the wispy white hair, but this just feels a lot more realistic to what Two-Face would be in real life. Um, it does take a very similar approach to that of um, the Dark Knight's Two-Face, but I think this one just pulls it off better. Because... Um, if I remember correctly, I think Two-Face wore a normal suit because they pried off his burned suit. Um, whereas with this one, he's still wearing the burned suit, and I think that really helps go into the design. Oh, what a pimp hand. They've done a really good job of making his other half look almost like a skull. I mean, really, looks so good. I would love to see someone do this for the Red Skull. Like, if they did, like, what they did with Two-Face's face, but just did it, like, the whole way over, it would look really good for Red Skull. I mean, I know sometimes with Red Skull it's a mask, sometimes it's his face, but I think if you're doing a face design, that's probably about as best as you can get. Alright, 
so we're going to do this. Um, oh, one thing I meant to mention too is that one I love about this game is that you have some of your gadgets from the start. And it's like a, an adequate amount of gadgets, I feel like, for what Batman might have with him. Whereas in Arkham Asylum, he just has battering with him. Like, maybe he would have been able to s stop the Asylum attack if he just had more of his gadgets with him from the start. Alright, so now we need to be careful. So, if... So, a lot of these guys will swarm out, but if you do a lot of, like, attacking in that time frame, you can actually get it to where, um, more people survive. Okay, okay. Something is in the way. Mm. Alright, let's go. Okay. I think those bullets from Two-Face can actually hurt you, but from what I can tell, he basically will never actually hit you. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, no it wasn't. Oh, okay. Oh, he shot him! <gasps> I've never had that happen. Um, so I guess that guy is dead. Heads or tails, kitty cat. Which one lets me out of here alive? Scratch side. Uh-oh. Time to die. I vote for a stay of execution. Oh dear. No gun harm? Shame. This is gonna hurt. Two guns, bitch! Oh! Uno reverse card. I, l I love that scene. Just two guns. And I thought it was cats who have nine lives. And now Batman just walks around with a bullet hole in his chest. I will start using the normal bat suit towards the end of the series, I might mention, just so we can kind of see the progression of the battle damage. Um, because it really... The Arkham City bat suit just gets the best battle damage by far. I swear. Anyone ever tell you that you're full of surprises? I don't really like this design for her cat suit. Um... Or, well, I don't like one aspect of it. I don't know why she has a thong on the outside. It feels very peculiar to me. Um, I think in the original game it was a lot less... You know, a lot less... Uh, ...detail in it, and I think that works well for this suit. And then is suddenly put in charge of running Arkham City. Rumor has it he's been working with Joker. Oh Something no. Special, He's been working with the clown prince of Maybe crime. That's protocol 10. What a shame. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. Watch me kill your favorite cat. <laughs> you know, he could have just killed Batman here. Oh, well, I guess he, he needs Batman alive, but still. I don't buy the fact that Batman was able to see that, and I really don't. He had, and Joker had so much ample time to just shoot without Batman actually seeing it. It was Joker. You're not safe here. How does he know it was Joker? Nine lives, remember? I'm sorry, it feels like I'm dissing this story. It's a really good story. It just, like I said, I've played through it so many times. This has to be my... I would say my 18th or 19th playthrough of this game. I, I, I mean, so it's just, it, it's easier for me to notice things like that that just seem a little amiss, but like I said, this game, this game is a masterpiece. Um, I just, there are some things that I just notice, but... I, this I love this game. Honestly, if 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 um Super Mario Galaxy didn't mean as much to me as it did, this would be my favorite game of all time. I it just it it would be because I've just played it through so much. Um, I get no. You know what? We'll go out the back way because uh gives me a chance to talk about uh. Mr. Man here. I don't know how many times we'll see Mr. Man, but here he be. 
Here be Calendar Man. I love this uh, inclusion. Can talk to him. I think my PlayStation clock is is uh, alone is off because it's like every t every time I talk to him, pretty much he gives me a holiday. Um, and I don't know why. I, I, I don't, I, I have no idea why. It is nowhere near July 4th. I don't even think my clock is off. I wonder if it's just the game that's bugged. And it's just like giving me all of the holidays. I, I don't know. I mean, either way. But yeah, it's Calendar Man, you can talk to him. He'll say some stuff. He'll say different things depending on what holiday it is. And if you talk to him on every holiday, plus the date of rocks that he's founding, uh, then he will... Uh, uh, give you different lines of dialogue, and if you do all of those things, he'll uh, get out of his cell. Hello there. These are political prisoners. Thought I'd talk about them, because um, they play a minor role in the story. Basically, if you see a guy with a hood on, he was a guy who was unfairly thrown in the prison. Um, they generally use the exact same character yeah, model and voice actor for Don't everyone, but you were sometimes you get different ones. Yeah, that evil son of a bitch. What the hell did I do wrong? You obviously know something you shouldn't. Now, Try to of course, and stay out of um, oh, let, yeah, now, of course, um, I, one problem I have was that they, like, they want you to follow the trajectory of the bullet, which would be really, really cool if... It weren't so easy to do, and they also didn't show you where the bullet came from in that cutscene. Oh, I need to get the grapnel boost. Uh, just so you know, I'll be doing those grap those side missions to get them as soon as is humanly possible. Oh, I thought I was going to, um... Hit <laughs> one... <laughs> on that gigantic drop down. I really thought I might have had a chance at hitting one. Alright. I think uh, it's safe to say that arm will not be in use for a long time. Alright. It's time for... Uh, church? Yeah, church time. <laughs> oh man, I think my brain is just fried today. Oof. Let the lady go, bat freak, or these people all get a bullet in their heads. I think you should do what he says. It would be a shame to get blood all over my nice new outfit. What do you think, bat brain? Like it? Eh, I could take it or leave it. Um... Can I just leave? Is that an option I have? No, apparently not. I, I can just walk around her. She likes to walk around me. I can just walk around... Wait, what, ha what happens if I just stand in front of her? Oh! Oh, Batman just moves out of the way. Aw, oh, come on, Batman! Why you gotta be such a dum-dum? Attacking armed thugs head-on is suicide. I need to disappear. Pick them off silently, one by one. Okay. Somehow none of those bullets hit me. Now, it's my favorite, well, this isn't my favorite one, but this is my favorite aspect of the game, the Predator System. Way, 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 way better than Arkham's Predator System, because of one simple feature. Well, uh, there's a few features that make it better, but it's way better in my opinion because of uh, another simple feature. Because you can do this knockout smash makes predator system way better way 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 better because now if someone is coming up to you while you're doing it you can just knock out and then be done with it all right 
I'm hoping this video doesn't get copyright claimed for the music. I, I, I lowered it down, but um, I, I wanted you guys to be able to hear it because it's so good. This game just has a really great score. Yeet! And they're dead. Um, I could talk to Cash once he gets over here. Oh, okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is ballistic armor doesn't really help me that much because I, I'm I'm kind of a god at the predator sections, low key. Uh, so we're gonna do combat armor. Um, now I'm actually gonna do something that I normally don't do. Um, when it comes to the upgrade system, I'm actually going to upgrade Catwoman. Usually I save her upgrades for the very end because she's her system is just so few and far between. But, um, because I know I have the most likelihood to die as her, I'm going to be upgrading her combat armor. Uh, and maybe give her one ballistic armor upgrade. Um, I could, and like I said, I could talk to Cash, but he'll just tell me to come in here and also explain like what he's doing here in the the city basically saying that, you know, after failing to prevent the prison break from Arkham Asylum, he just, uh, essentially lost all credibility and this was the only job he could get. Alright, so, here we are, in the bell tower, waiting for load, uh, hello? Okay, <laughs> there we go. It looks like it's being controlled remotely by Joker. Ah. How astute. Well, look who it is. I haven't seen you for... How long has it been? Mm. Let's see. There was an asylum, some monsters... Man, Joker, you... Uh, you your hair's not lo You Do you need your hair gel, my man? It looks a little bit, uh, spiked up. Oh no, the bomb. Yeah, I'm gonna just hop out now. I, I could stay there and get an easter egg, but, um, I'm pretty sure if you do that easter egg, you die. <laughs> so, I t and, uh, if I die, the video ends, so I'm not gonna do that for the sake of an easter egg. It's just some extra dialogue with the Joker. The radio signal should lead me right to it. All right, now we've got radio signal, um, and this is the other half of the city. Well, well, there's like three distinct sections. So you've got, all right, side missions. So yeah, you've got the Bowery, you've got the courthouse and church area, and then you've got the industrial district. I kind of consider it to be split up into three because you've got like this whole kind of section here. It, to me, they feel like th thematically the same. Um, and it's really, really well done, I have to say. I love everything about this. Stop it. Stop it with the distress flare. <laughs> um, but I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We actually made it through an episode without dying. Took quite a few hits, though. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this, and if you guys do hope to see more, please let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all later.